Hi, in this clip I'm going to show you how to play um, Night Bus, the fourth piece in the Grade 2 Rock School guitar book. Um, I'll play the piece first of all with the backing track. I shall then um, give you a bit of advice about sound you need to use and that kind of thing, and techniques and areas you need to look out for when you're performing the piece. I shall then play it a second time with the tempo backed off about 20%. And finally I shall then play it a third time with my own volume turned right down. So uh, the backing track's still running slightly slow, so it's easier to play along with, to practice. And you've got a visual reference of where you should be in the song, but you can use it um, as, a, as a backing track. Okay, here we go. Night bus. One, two, one, two, three, four. First thing on this one's sound. Um, it's clean, um, it needs to be nice and boingy, um, so a good wash of reverb will help a lot. And I'd use either your middle or your neck pickup, so it's got plenty of sort of bass and body to it as well. So when you do the muted strokes, you've got a nice kind of wash of reverb behind everything. Okay, um, first section, pretty straightforward. Um, when you come to the first chords in bar three, um, all you need is one finger and just bar off because they're all at the same fret and it makes it much easier to change position. Right, second line. Um, first three bars, straightforward. When you come to the um, fourth bar on um, line two, don't forget the palm muting, okay? So light palm muting, your hand resting on your bridge. Uh, line three, um, you've got some offbeat, or well, not offbeat chords, but the chords are coming in on beats um, two and four of the bar. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you come to the next line, the fourth line, the D minor chord there, again, it's on beat two, okay? So make sure you don't come straight in there. You've got to go one, two. Now, the next um, little rundown there on um, line four, in bar two of line four. It's quite tricky, okay? Um, it's moving from the B string to the G string will be the tricky one, so practice it slowly. And only build up speed once you can do it confidently. Um, right, uh, rest of line four, again, it's pretty straightforward. You've got the same um, rhythm on beat, um, the chords on beats two and four. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Then similar rhythm to the start. Um, line five, right. Again, it's got to wait. You're actually coming on beat three, okay? So it's one, two, three. Again, when you're changing from the D chord um, to the F um, sharp minor, go from an all D to just a bar at the second fret. Now, again, in, in the line five here, you've got two alternative endings. So when you come through to play that section the second time, here, again, remember the rest. Remember to skip the bar that you played the first time round and you start with the second, um, the second bar there that's marked as number two. Right, that little riff there again, make sure you follow the dynamics, you want it nice and loud. And back off the volume a little bit for the next lot of chords. 
And nice and loud again. And the very last note, quiet again. Right, I'll play it a second time now um, with the tempo backed off a fraction. Night bus. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, last time, this time with my own volume turned down. Night bus. One, two, one, two, three, four. Go. Hope that helps.